What's up, guys? Welcome to the TMG podcast. This is actually today's, today's episode, f- today's free episode. Ah. But if you want uh, the bonus episode that went up today as well, you can find that on our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash tiny meat gang. And uh, the, the free episode will be ad free as well on there. So uh, and if not, thanks and enjoy this one. Peace. Peace. Sorry, we're talking about my 17 car garage. <laughs> <laughs> COVID. Yeah. The scariest part about it, it makes you asexual. <laughs> Is that what being asymptomatic means? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got COVID and I'm no longer attracted to anyone. <laughs> Dude, there's some shit that, there was some shit that said uh, it could potentially affect your balls. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Bust your balls. It could make you uh, um, infertile. Infertile. That's the yeah. word. What's sterile? That's another sterile? word for it, right? Yeah. 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 Senile? Senile. Um, that's not a word for it. No. Um, no, but it, you could be senile in your balls. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of another <laughs> Old one. man ball syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Busted ball syndrome. <laughs> BBS. Yeah, that's, that's funny, but not really. No, it's not. It's not really funny. It would that suck would to suck. not be attracted to any, uh, Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And no, to, to not have be your able to have busted. kids. Yeah that, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, there's, I guess that part sucks too. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong guy for that part. <laughs> I'm you don't want to have kids. I'm like still on the fence about a kid. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't know if it's for me, man. No? I don't know if it's for me. What, like what? what's not for you? Just like you just want to keep doing your thing? Yeah. I know. It's a, it's a big sacrifice. Yeah. You, get, you give up everything for a kid. For 18 years. Yeah. Yeah. And that's if you have one. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. just can't. Like just, <laughs> just the amount of fucking shit I've had to put on on hold for this dog yeah <laughs> kid must be 10 times that yeah that's that's what i'm saying because the dog now is like you know the hardest part i think is over yeah he's like potty trained now he's good yeah and it's like i can just leave him mm-hmm. and he can he can be a dog now but with yeah. a kid that you process that. is like uh, potentially 25 years you know what i'm saying yeah like what if you birth just an absolute fucking dummy yeah yeah, yeah. You know? that's a good point <laughs> you know what i mean yeah just you're just you're just just gamer yeah yeah no no no. he's a gamer he's good <laughs> yeah actually he's, then, inside. Then he's like self-sufficient doesn't yeah. need much yeah comes in his own jars yeah yeah stores it himself yeah get him some spicy cheetos and he, here's a nasty one fine. you know what? that straw big straw challenge on tiktok yeah with a cum jar moving on yep yep everybody's puking oh, now no good morning no good morning yeah quarantine blame, come on dude. blame the quarantine man i haven't been outside oh <laughs> I haven't been outside. This is the first time that I've been out of the house, too. We haven't been outside since the last podcast. <clears throat> nothing. That nothing? That was nothing. That was a hiccup. That's, I hiccup weird. I swear, every <laughs> fucking episode, you're just going to get progressively weirder. There was a lot of comments on the last episode being like, I'm really concerned. He's coughing a lot. <laughs> and I was watching it being like, I'm pretty concerned, too. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think it's fine, though. It's fine. I hope. I hope it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just don't, just don't cough at me. Um, what else is I gonna say? I feel weird. I feel like well rested. Uh-huh. You know, that's oh, the it's thing weird about this. to be well rested. Well, that's the thing, like about not leaving home. Yeah, you don't. There's no LA traffic to deal with. There's nothing. There's, you just stay home, and it's like I'm not even. I'm not stressed. I mean, I'm stressed about the virus, but I'm not stressed mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. i This is like the most relaxed I felt. It's weird. Yeah. Well, not so much for other people. <laughs> No, trust me, I know this is a fuck, very fucking stressful time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we don't have to get into all that, but um, the fuck was I going to say? We, what were we talking about a second ago? Mm. Uh, damn, we got fucking half a brain cell. I forget. Damn. This right Balls. here. These are my last two brain cells <laughs> trying to figure out where I put the last toilet paper. Um, fuck. Fuck. We really can't. I'm, 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 I got completely nothing, blank. Dude. I got nothing. Damn it. Whatever, dude. Um, um COVID nineteen, <laughs> the hottest <laughs> virus <laughs> of the decade. You know, here we go. Here's peak one percenter idea right here. What? Oh, we were talking about the gamer and the kid and the cum jar. That's what it was. You know, if you had a, and I said, oh yeah, 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 right, right, yeah, 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 cum yeah. jar bit. Anyway, yeah, yeah, but you're talking about what? No kids. Okay. Okay. Gamer. Fine. Yeah. You know what? What like? What if we? What if I have a kid who's just um, just a little 
too talkative? Like, what if it's not anything drastic? Like, he likes drugs or something like that. What if it's just something like that? What if you birth somebody just annoying? Yeah. I know. I think about that kind of often, honestly. You like know? you're sitting in the car and they're just like, yeah, and then Ashley said, and you're like, <sighs> you're gonna just stop. You fucked it. <laughs> you're gonna fuck it. You're 13. Oh, come on. You're like this. Yeah, there was a huge line at Chipotle today. It was huge. Okay. It was, uh, no, seriously, it was like, oh, it was huge. Okay. And it was like wrapped all the way around the blog. It was like, must have yeah. been like 50 to 60 people. Yeah, because people. I wonder what was going like, But I went, I went like right at noon. So like, obviously like that is the lunch rush. And like I do, but you know how I love. I'm not your dad. My... <laughs> what? Next. <laughs> <laughs> nice back. little callback. Get back on the bus, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> No. What is your favorite fast food? I love Chipotle, but it usually gets pretty busy around the around the lunch. The next, lunch. <sighs> damn it, <laughs> dude! What if the next bus show? What if okay revamp? What if it's not a show that occurs over an eight hour shoot? <laughs> what if it's like an eight year shoot? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. <laughs> so you could you could try out a kid for like three <laughs> oh, years. I see what you're saying. You, <laughs> and so does, it's like the foster period. Yeah, and then he does something really annoying at like age fourteen. Yeah. Dad, I egged grandma's house. Next. <laughs> huh? Some people, some producers run in and they take him like, so sorry, you've lost. He's like, what, what do you mean? Wait, what, 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 what? <laughs> Is that too much? Okay, that's That's dark. so fucked up. That's fucked. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> or, okay, how about this? I'm an asshole, dad. I'm screaming next while my kid is being annoying and no one comes and grabs it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's my way of. It's a little like, it's a little, it's your version of like, if you don't shut up, I'm going to pull this car over. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Next. Going, next. He's like, what are you. Next. Yeah. Why do you keep saying next. that? Next. Just trust me. Next. You keep acting up. Next. <laughs> Someone's coming. Someone's buddy. coming, bud. <laughs> Someone's coming, and it's not your mom. <laughs> next. Oh, it might be your new mom. <laughs> next. <laughs> Yeah, I heard the virus. Oh, next. Next. Fuck. Yo. <clears throat> um. <laughs> <clears throat> That's another hiccup. What's going, what's going on? What's, what's going on in there? No. What's what 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 fine. It's fine. It's fine. You, you sleep with the window open? I, what's no, going on? No. Yeah, I slept with the window open. <laughs> Somebody yeah. just coughed through my window. <clears throat> there was some TikTok that Kelsey was watching, dude. This girl was sitting in an airport. And some dude came over and spat in her eye. Yeah, yeah. Did saw you see that? Giant, yeah, yeah. Spat in her eye. You think it's true? It, it might have been one of those like do like do because she said oh, like the, wait, he start the question started with do. So you know if he just do you want it and she just oh yeah you know, maybe could have been one of those. But it, it was like what he said was pretty ominous. He was like, "Do you want to know what's going on in Hong Kong right now?" As in like, do you want to firsthand? As in, I'm going to spit in your face because you're about to get this whatever I have. That's, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know if it was like, I didn't know if it was like that or if it was like, a, you know, he's like trying to get her attention. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like a, do you know, and, you know, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it could have been like a, tw- do you want to know Because the on? virus changes your brain. Yeah. It makes you. Spread it. A, a zombie. And asexual. <laughs> An asexual zombie, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which they, I think they all are. <laughs> But it's a different kind of asexual. It's not like you're. It's it's not like asexual. It's a space sexual. It's a sexual zombie. A sexual zombie. Yeah. Okay. Or it's asexual. <laughs> yeah, it makes you asexual. Asexual zombie. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Is that a Mitch Hedberg joke or something? I don't know. Asexual. I'm just. I'm just thinking. God, where's that from? Uh, maybe it's a tweet or something. Um, Kyle, can I steal that water from you? You could you you pop it. <laughs> uh, were they not on the thing? Come on in, it's fine. Oh yeah, you grabbed the wrong one. Okay, cool. I'm like, <laughs> what's that little chicken on there? No, <laughs> it's it's Vega from Marvel vs. Capcom. Ah, I got. Uh, I was in Thailand, however many years ago, and. uh uh, this dude was like he had woven Marvel characters, so I just like picked up a few, huh. or Capcom. I, someone's gonna be like, "You got it wrong." Wh- whatever, whatever. I was thinking of uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter is Capcom. Mm. Yeah, 
Gotcha. Um, anyway, asexual zombie. Gonna oh, he's going to take a fed. Uh, already. Already <clears throat> 10 minutes in, he needs to take no, a fed no, shit. No, no, no. 10 minutes in, he's got to shit himself. But let's, um, <laughs> we catch up with the boy. Should we catch up with the boy Paul Zimmer? Already. <laughs> and see what he's been up to? I guess. I was like still thinking about zombies like shimmying their shoulders and you know getting head from a zombie. Why does it say Paul Troy? So he's owning it now. Yeah, is so it he's... Paul? Is it Troy? I don't know. So as you probably know, the last time we talked about him, yeah, it was it's... Paul Zimmer, some musically kid, mm -hmm. started going as Troy. He reinvented himself as a 14-year-old actor. Yeah. And and then people called him out for it because it was weird. Mm -hmm. And now he's he has a new story. Yeah. Which is Okay. First off, my name is Troy Becker. I'm an actor and Paul Zimmer is a character that I created for social media to entertain and inspire people. I wanted Paul Zimmer to be like a perfect a de perfect. Wait, wait, that's it? I think it cuts okay. off because we're not in the first app. Off, my name is Troy oh. Becker. I'm an actor, and Paul Zimmer is a character that I created yeah. for social media to entertain and inspire people. I wanted Paul Zimmer to be like a perfect. He said, "Like I, I watched this. And he <clears throat> says I wanted Paul Zimmer to be like a perfect person, and I got tired of, I don't know, trying to make him perfect or something. Because I realized perfection doesn't exist. I think. Oh what he man, says, yeah, he's which Da Vinci, is, bro." He's what? He's Da Vinci. Yeah. He's, a, he's a real artist. You know <laughs> yeah, exactly. In the pursuit of art, he's discovered there is no perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So it's time to be himself. What a revelation, dude. Yeah. This well, that's almost poetic, isn't it? Yeah. This motherfucker f wrote his own episode of High School Musical. That's crazy. <laughs> Turn his life into HSM episode. So he made... So it's also funny that he took a, like a month or longer than that. No, it's been since we talked about this on Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been what three months? Yeah, for him to to Finally. realize. Okay, no, wait. What if I was Troy Becker the whole time, <laughs> and Paul Zimmer <laughs> was the made up persona? <laughs> That's got to be so so unhealthy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I even hesitate. To comment because at first I thought it was like a weird little like, you know, I don't know what the fuck I thought when I first saw it. I didn't consider that, that he might be a little off. I was just like, man, this is, this is strange. But maybe, you know, you don't want to jump to that conclusion. Mm -hmm. You don't want to start accusing people of having conditions and stuff. But that right there, I don't know. <laughs> you might be, you might be, you know. <clears throat> I feel like it's one thing to, to be like, all right, I'm a new person now. Yeah. I'm this guy. Yeah. That's one thing, right? Yeah. It's another thing entirely to be like, no, I've been that person the whole time. Yeah. Who I actually am, that's yeah. the fake one. Yeah. That's when probably your mind starts to like dissociate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, did you enjoy the content I was putting out for years and years? It's all a lie. <laughs> I was never that guy. I was never that guy. And you got played. You just fell for my art. And I'm the puppet master. Yeah. And you're all my puppets. Have you seen The Matrix? I'm like the architect, bitch. Just 30 years younger. Yeah, because I'm 14. And I'm an actor. <laughs> What's up? I'm Troy. <laughs> Troy. Looking 20 at 14. <laughs> just get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This is, um... A know. corksicle? Yeah. What's that? Um, I don't know. It keeps shit cold nice. and warm. Hell yeah. It's cow-colored. You know what I mean? Cow-colored. Nice. Uh, you keep milk in there? Yeah. <laughs> I just keep warm milk room, in here. Room temperature milk. Mm. Mm. You just leave it out overnight. Mmm. How nice, is it? Oh, uh, is just, it quarantine milk? Just warm quarantine milk. Yeah, it's just a little bit chunky too. Because uh -huh. it's just been sitting on your counter for weeks. <clears throat> it's actually just a bunch of chunks of pepper jack cheese slightly <laughs> melted. <laughs> I'm drinking Now a, we're talking, dude. Yeah, I'm drinking a cup full of pepper jack cheese. <laughs> pepper jack pepper jack cheese cubes. 
Can you say that four times fast? Pepper Jack Cheese Cube, Pepper Jack Cheese Cube, Pepper Jack Cheese Cube. <laughs> That's that quarantine food, baby. Um, you been eating good or you been eating healthy or not? I'm eating healthy. Really? Yeah. How are you managing that? Um. Well, you know, uh, we when we were in Australia, we kind of started to think maybe shit's going to get fucked up. So we gradually just <clears throat> introduced items into our place. Alina's uh, sister helped us out with that. And so we came back to like, you know, a freezer. We took all the goofy shit out the freezer mm -hmm. and, and we plan like war rations. So we have, we have got a bunch of frozen chicken and shit. So mm. we just, you know, we pull it out and defrost it. I'm jealous, man. We don't have any like real food. The rip. I know we didn't like, I should have just, cause when we, when, when we were in Australia and you were like, all right, I'm stocking up on this shit. I was like, okay. Yeah. And so, you know, we got the shit. I didn't realize it came in packs of like nine. From Amazon, I'm like these Oreos are fucking expensive. <laughs> so nine fucking. So now my pantry is like stacked, stacked with snacks. Just, but then we didn't get any real shit. And then by the time we realized we wanted it, all the grocery stores, you know, you can't go to a grocery oh store now. God. You got to go at six thirty a.m. and there's a giant line. My friend said there was people fighting outside Ralph's the yeah. other day. Yeah. And I know everyone's listening to this, being like, "Oh, Noel, you're one of those, or you were stocking up." Relax. I didn't, no, no, no. It's not. I didn't buy fucking eighty-seven thousand rolls of toilet paper. You know? Stocking, as in like, like getting necessary yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Just got. I was mainly focused on medicine. That's the shit I was worried about. Just like basic shit, just Advil and yeah, all that other stuff. But so Advil now makes it worse, apparently. Yeah, I mean, I haven't. Yeah, if you get it, yeah. um, you would know because you have it. I wouldn't know because I had it. I am now immune. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, my yeah, no, my my uh, whole pantry is basically a giant bad boys drawer. <laughs> You're gonna get this. Doritos. Put it in your fucking face. face. Taco Bell during the quarantine. Put it in your fucking Don't leave. mouth. Yeah. No. Don't go to it. Stay home. <laughs> Wash your fucking hands. <laughs> Double Re stuff Oreos, 15 packs. Put them in your face. <laughs> Eat them. I'm just thinking about you getting the coronavirus. And you got a fucking hot ass temperature and you're like, what is what is there to eat? And all you have is spicy ramen. And you're like, <laughs> and you're like oh, fuck. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, just, uh. just oh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> Anything else? Can I get a yogurt or something? <laughs> And I got a drink. I got a, it's just, just spicy ramen and pepper jack cheese. <laughs> <laughs> just melting it on top to try to cool it down and a little buffalo bit. buffalo sauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cabinet full of spicy food. <laughs> the temperature of 103. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. Oh, flaming hot Cheetos. Yeah. I don't want any of this shit. Man, it's like, even in healthy, but, you know. It's it's like we might keep this up, you know, for like a week, and then if it starts carrying all the fucking, I'm not, we don't have to get into it, but all like the rumors I'm hearing about like days for lockdown and stuff, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like till August. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, who knows, man? It's fucked, man. Our economy is fucked. Yeah, it's fucked. There's I, no way it can't oh, be. I really didn't want to fucking even that shit. Yeah, yeah been... okay. We don't have to get into it because it's a little bit depressing, and I know. Yeah, that this is a really hard time for most people. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not stressful for us because we can sit around and yeah. work on content. That's mm -hmm. what we do. Mm -hmm. I, some tweet was like, "I like how everyone with <laughs> everyone without a real job is having funny Zoom conferences yeah. on Twitter, yeah. and everyone with a real job is like." suffering and like mm -hmm. this is the most scary period mm -hmm. of their life right now mm -hmm. hey. it's like it's not fucking fair people like you know i don't know just bullshit like social media marketing jobs so oh, you're yeah. having like fun sending funny gifts on yeah. slack all day like oh, oh I... you're so fun and like taking screenshots of their zoom conferences and putting them on twitter where someone's got a funny hat on and, ah! people that work in restaurants are like what the fuck yeah yeah people if, if you're a person job of need listening to this podcast we wish you well and um you will get through it and it may be very hard but you will get through it yeah and we we're we're here to make you giggle that said these fucking yeah these zoom conference assholes you, you 
if you've ever worked in like a fucking startup or any, like you know this person, the whole personality is just like, fuck, what do you do? You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You're, who? Like, is this, is this the someone? person who posts the Zoom conference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's someone I'm thinking of specifically at full screen <laughs> who I will not name. <laughs> no, I, fuck it. I'm yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> You boring ass. Yeah, what fucking, do you do? Fucking dumb bitch. Finally, I can say, <laughs> what the fuck do you do? Stupid ass motherfucker. Fuck you, man. There's one person I'm thinking of in particular, and they always drove me insane because they always had a big ass opinion and uh, about shit, and, but they never did that job. And then they always wanted to call shots and be very opinionated. And all I could think was, you just fucking hire someone else to write tweets. Yeah. Where? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do here? What do you do? I don't know what you yeah. do here. Just wow, me. team all hands yeah. is quirky this morning. Yeah. Jared is wearing a lion suit. Michaela, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do here? You imagine those people just getting on a zoom conference and then they think it's like the standard meeting and it's just this is the president of the company like, oh <laughs> yeah there's like they just don't have any shirt on yeah, just, oh oh uh, hi Michaela. hi <laughs> they have like isolation written <laughs> and like lipstick or some shit on their chest like as a joke this is a fucking dude named zach yeah oh Uh, Mr. Mr. Che- Mr. Cheeseman. Hi, he's Zachary. The pre- he's the president of yeah. uh, Pepper Jack Cheese yeah. Corporation. Hi, Zachary. I just wanted to uh, sit in on the call today and see what we're doing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was just, um, uh, well, I was just uh, actually going to put a shirt on. And, um, That'd be a start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So once you, then once you throw a shirt on, we'll, sure, we'll, I'll t- yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk for a second. Right. Yeah, put a shirt on. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, so I was just going to line up the... Uh, Twitter today. I was just gonna get the Twitter in line. So a lot of cheese tweets going out today. Right. Yeah. And 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 and, and you know, here's the thing, Zach. Is a lot of us are sitting at home now, and uh, you know, the, the. Sorry, I have the fart extension on Zoom conference. Sorry. Let me just disable. Oh, sorry. Let me just disable. Wow. That's uh, disable that. I don't know where. Where is that's? How do you get it off? I'm sorry, Mr. Cheeseman. Okay, yeah, there's... Is this a cutting the cheese joke, Zachary? Yes. You think I'm just cutting... Is this, is this is that what this is? Yes. Y- are you it sure? Could be. Are you sure? If you think it's funny. So here's the thing, Zachary. A lot of us are sitting at home. And uh, in this time, you know, I've had, really had time to assess the company. Sorry, it's still on. <laughs> to assess the company. I just need to know, Zachary, what the fuck do you do here? <laughs> <laughs> dude dude Isol- yeah, I, I, isolation I, I, and lipstick on your chest <laughs> this dude's got a plastic bag over his head who's in quarantine look at me i'm in quarantine it doesn't matter i bought 700 bags ziploc bags no one else can have them i got them <laughs> <laughs> oh my god wait I sent the video, I think, to the Talking Points thread of the dude that hoarded all the hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah, that fucking dude, idiot. Dude, did you watch the video no. of his, like, interview? Please no. pull that up. All right. Hold on. All right, here we Let's go. See if I can find it. It's here we go. so fucking good, dude. Here we go. I know, I saw all the quotes. <laughs> was uh, it like, wait, hold on. 12, what the fuck? I'm on Bing? What the fuck is this Yahoo here, search? Here. Who put this fucking virus? What? Hold on. No, you. I, if you click the icon, I think you can change. I it. was trying to do that. This, this, this is the developer of me. I'm genuinely angry. Is this it, dude? It, it, imagine having a serious conversation with your boss over like Zoom or whatever, and you have the fart, <laughs> <laughs> you have the fart prank extension on, <laughs> which I don't even know that exists, but it definitely should. <laughs> Just adds fart sounds to your so no you don't know which one who did it, guys. Hi, I'm sorry. Exactly. What was that? We have to talk about your performance recently in the last in the last quarter. Um, you just haven't been really meeting my expectations. Yeah, and, I, I just, um, quick question. did you just fart? I wasn't me. 
Certainly wasn't me. I thought I mean, it, was it was you. It was no, definitely not me. Okay, maybe it was just something weird with the yeah my fridge or something. Yeah. Cause, Anyways, right? you haven't. What's up, bro? <laughs> like really? Like this is a serious meeting, and you're just gonna you're just gonna be like. Treating... Well, it's not me. Well, it's not me. It's dude, certainly so... not me. Well, who is it then? It, do you, only... do you have a dog or something in the room? No, but you're you're old. Okay, maybe it's coming out of your old ass stomach. I'm not that old. Anyways. That brings me to my next point. I don't think you're right for this company. Oh. <laughs> oh, stinky, dude. It's like actually coming through my camera. I can smell it. You're going to fire me while you're stinking up the joint? Yeah, that's, that's kind of disrespectful. How about fucking HR? This guy's shitting on camera, <laughs> no, dude. Don't, don't contact HR. We, that's not necessary at like all. a fat dump on camera, you know dude? Are you doing this from the toilet? You know what? How, how'd you like a raise? How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds really good, dude, Great. actually. Glad we could have this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that was you actually farting yeah, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. Array is sick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry for the interruption. We want to thank MeUndies for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Why would you need a MeUndie membership? Honestly, because it's fun. It's an easy way to give your future self a present each month. A membership with MeUndies is full of perks like site-wide savings, early access, free shipping, and new ridiculously soft undies. Delivered to your door each month. Building your undie collection makes your adult life just a tad easier. Just a little bit. More undies equals less laundry. It's science. It's an easy equation. You can put that through your dumb little head. <laughs> yeah. I love me undies. I'm wearing them right now. They're super oh soft. Oh my god. And, and I, you know, my I love them on my balls, and they're great. Uh. You probably heard of the softest MeUndies to ever grace your nethers. That's because they're made of micromodal. What the heck is that? It's a magical, sustainable, soft as heck fabric made from trees uh, that makes your bits feel like they're floating on a cloud. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners today. For any first-time purchasers, you can get 15% off and free shipping. It's a no-brainer, especially because they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. To get your 15% off your first order, free shipping... Go to MeUndies.com slash TMG. That's MeUndies.com slash TMG. How about that? Look, we also want to give a big ass thank you. <laughs> big, big gas thank big you. Big gas thank you. <laughs> to, a big gas. We're smoking big gas. To our people, honey. Uh, you know that honey is the free online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them to your cart. And you know how great it feels to save. But how does it feel to save with honey? Save with honey feels like sliding into a seat on the Matthew McConaughey train right before <laughs> the doors close and you hitting every green light Ooh. on your commute um, we've saved honey before on studio equipment I've saved uh, money on clothes um, I recently used it to save some money on a, a domain registration so the savings are everywhere mm -hmm. you know you, you just gotta install it in your browser and find out um, you know, uh, they want to know how much I've saved exactly. I can tell you this confidently. I've saved hundreds nice. with honey. Yeah. I, I think I've saved uh, in the up upper hundreds, I would say. Yeah. 800, perhaps 900. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it works on over 30,000 stores, including Macy's Target, Sephora, Best Buy, and more. Mm -hmm. And they're adding more every day. Uh, using honey feels pretty great. Think of it as a daily little victory, you know, and right now if you're, ordering stuff online due to uh, the context of the world, you know, you might save some bucks. So uh, it's free to install. It just takes a few seconds. Uh, get it for free at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. J-O-I-N-H-O-N-E-Y dot com slash TMG. We don't want to mess that up because we got it wrong before. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this dude went out Bought a fuck ton of hand sanitizer. 18,000 bottles. And because he wanted to seize the opportunity that he saw. Yeah. He's a dickhead. <laughs> and then he can't sell it now. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to fire on this fool. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Well, panic buying has been on the rise amid... Why does he... Why is he... Whoever captured this picture, this shit is lifestyle as fuck. Yeah. Like, this borderline looks like the first page to like a thrasher magazine so true 
Such a great shot. Yeah. The global spread of the new coronavirus with consumers around the world stockpiling goods like hand sanitizer, canned foods, and toilet paper, including one man in Hickson. It's a story that is dominating national headlines after the... Well, let's, <laughs> let's calm down with that word. What? Oh, I wouldn't say he was dominating. <laughs> all right, you know what I'm saying? He had a little... He, you know, he had a, he had a little moment. Yeah. I want to say he's dominating. He dominating headlines. Nah. Yeah. This was, this I think the virus itself probably. Yeah, that's dominating. Was the, the one dominating the headlines. Yeah. yeah. This, this dude had a little, you know, he got a little shout. Yeah. He had, he had a little single. He had, a, he had his five minutes. Yeah. The New York Times wrote about <clears> Matt <throat> Colvin stockpiling goods amid the coronavirus outbreak. Channel 3's Hunter Hoagland talked to Matt who bought nearly 18,000 bottles of hand sanitizer. 18,000. Why would you even agree to this interview? Yeah, like, I mean, you know. You know. He, well, he needs to sell the, he needs yeah. to move these things. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got to get rid of them. Yeah. While many are still searching to find even one for Matt Colvin, <sighs> a pandemic meant an opportunity. For Matt Colvin. A pandemic meant an opportunity. That's that's the worst fucking phrase. Yeah. A pandemic meant an opportunity. Oh. No. Oh. Never. <laughs> Look at him trying to wear this shirt to make up for it. This is like the this is like the best bit I've ever seen. I know. <laughs> I'm just a family man <laughs> running a family business. What about the families that don't have hand sanitizer right now? They could have it if they hit up Family Man Family Business. <laughs> You know, it's the big bad corporation Amazon that won't let me do it. Exactly. Went to zero to 60 really fast. After the first COVID-19 death in the United States, Colvin Wentz. Where do they get these news people with this voice? Yeah, I don't know. After the first day T death in the, <laughs> don't, ah, if you die and this is the guy talking about your death, the first death after COVID-19. <laughs> It's just like disrespectful. Yeah, you're just rolling around in your grave like, oh, and, stop, yeah, dude. Ugh. Put some respect on <laughs> oh, my name. <laughs> the first death of the COVID-19. shut the fuck up, you nerd. <laughs> stop talking about me. Keep it's, my name out of your mouth. Wait, clearly. hold on. Go back for a second. Wait, so this guy, I just wanted to point out, this guy, after the first death, he saw the first person die, and then he was like, now's the time to strike. What a psycho, What dude. an asshole. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. 60 really fast. <laughs> After the first COVID-19 death. death in the United States, Colvin went state to state clearing out sanitizer. The way this guy talks, it's like his mouth is like, like his like teeth are always showing. Calvin went to another state. Yeah. And he's like always congested. <laughs> it was a little bit nasally, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like Calvin went to an... <laughs> 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 He like talks from the top of yeah. his nose. Shelves. He went to another state <laughs> and he got after the first death <laughs> from COVID 19. This fucker is reading this shit at a yacht club, <laughs> <laughs> laughing at poor people while he's uh, this shit. It clearing out sanitizer shelves. He now sits with 18,000 unused 18, bottles in his hand storage unit. Give them out, the dude. Tennessee Valley struggled to find one. Ugh. The bulk of it was purchased with just driving around to uh, retail stores in the Chattanooga area. Colvin bought the sanitizer with the intention of selling them for profit on Amazon before they took his listings down. Now, feeling the same panic as many others. Oh, crap. Is the uh, P PG way to say it? Though he would not discuss on camera the exact prices he sold the sanitizer for, he told the New York Times in a recent interview the, that the end is so funny, dude. Some items were listed at seventy dollars a bottle. He's selling this shit for seventy bucks. Who the fuck are you, man? S smart, <laughs> smart. Mark them up. Yeah, high dude. margins. Yeah, see that opportunity. Charge. 7,000% margin, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Like an airline ticket, mm -hmm. you know? Because <clears throat> when what do you see when, when you hear pandemic? What do you see in your head? Um, Dead people, a suffering, yeah, depression, that blah, blah, be, blah. Yeah. I see opportunity. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And that's why I thought family business. <laughs> I got to hear this shit. Hold on. 
the pricing on Amazon was higher than it was definitely higher than retail. Stating in a shirt that says definitely, <laughs> definitely higher than retail. <laughs> it was definitely higher. Family man, family business. Family man, family business. He says he never anticipated the struggle other families would go through because of a shortage. Fuck off. Would you say you're sorry? This is it. Sorry for purchasing. Uh, sorry for buying all of this. <laughs> No, I don't think that I would. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What a dick. Double down, bro. The Double. dramatic pause, too. Holy fuck. <laughs> he had a real... That was kind of fucking hard. <laughs> I'm going to say it. That was kind of tough. We're all waiting with yeah. bated breath. Yeah. What's he going to say? <laughs> is, he, is this man sorry Has for he, what he did? Yeah. <sighs> No. <laughs> Just, nah. You're nah. a family man. Are you uh, sorry that other families are, you've put other families in jeopardy, essentially, because they don't have any sanitizer and now might get the virus? And Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Nah. I'm all right, love. Yeah. Thank I'm, you. I'm though. good, love. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what if he doesn't even have a family yeah the He's fucking like, yeah, sound of that baby fucking... in the background is just like a fucking <laughs> it's like a fake baby monitor <laughs> he set up all this shit to seem like a family man I think that I would after receiving backlash this my, online, this is my family. Golden says he's making plans to donate the rest of the sanitizer. Good. With, with business, there's wins and there's losses. Of course. Um, and this is one a situation where cutting my uh, cutting my losses is the right thing to do. Nice. Well, tennis. What was that? Oh, uh, they like they just edited the interview real shit. <laughs> Hold on, I want to I want to do some math on that. I'm using calculator this time because we all know that when I do math after just waking up, it doesn't work out yeah. very well. Yeah, eighteen thousand. Hold on, one second. Wait, one second. What are you talking about? We're gonna take a quick break. We are. Yeah. All right, we're back. Okay, oh. let's do the math. <laughs> 18... That, that felt like some fucking <laughs> Avengers bullshit right there. We're going to take a break. We are. We're back. <laughs> We're huh? back. Huh? Are we? <laughs> what happened? Right. 18,000 times it was, 70. It was 17,700. So multiply that by $299. No, I'm joking. No. What? I'm just, what's the average price? 290 Well, he said he was selling them for 70 bucks a bottle. Wait, no, no, no. Let's, I want to get his cost. I'm going to get his cost in the can. Oh, well, so we're, we're calculating profit. Yeah. Okay. Let's, okay, let's average cost everything because he's got like, Okay, we'll just do. We'll just do five bucks. Five nah. bucks for a bottle of sanitizer, because he's got different sizes, right? Yeah. So the big so ones. If, if there's like, if, if some are five dollars that he purchased them for, and some are like three. You think the most is five bucks? Isn't it kind of expensive? Like you get a big bottle like this. Yeah, maybe it's like seven bucks. Yeah, so it's I think average. So four bucks. Four bucks. Let's say. I like five. Okay. Let's average do five. five. <laughs> First of all, you got eighty nine thousand dollars potentially. Of hand sanitizer. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually that's actually fucking absurd. Is this guy fucking loaded? Yeah, what the f maybe he like <laughs> took out a loan or something? Oh my god. A small oh <laughs> if he just conned the bank, he's like, Yeah, I need a small business loan. It's like, yeah, for what? I'm starting a drop shipping store. <laughs> Bet you he saw some TikTok. It all started from yeah, a TikTok. Yeah, probably. TikTok is like pandemic coming. You wanna know how to make some money? Buy some hand sanitizer from Alibaba. List it on eBay. Three. Take some marketing pictures. Yeah, and you're rich. And you're rich. And it's a 17 year old kid like swinging hundreds and shit. And he's like, dude, I can fucking do that. I can buy a hundred thousand dollars worth of hand yeah, sanitizer. In fact, I will. Okay, so now he was selling them for. Okay, so seventeen seven hundred times seventy minus eighty nine thousand. <laughs> You would have made a, a cool milli off this shit, dude. $900,000 potentially he could have made. Oh now I'm seeing the opportunity. <laughs> oh my God. What a fucking piece of shit. What a fucking piece of shit. He's, no, dude, he's donating them, okay? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, he's, a good, he's a good guy. Yeah. In business. You know there's... you're a really good dude when you're, when you're good only when your shittiness doesn't work out. Yeah, yeah. 
and and it gets put on a uh, national television. Yeah. And you still try to move it a little bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's like, I still. I mean, for anyone watching, I still got it for the low. If you're if you're in, I will donate it though. But if <laughs> if you are in, in need and in the immediate area of Chattanooga, I saw I saw the quote where he said that he was providing a service to everyone. What service? Yeah, yeah. The service was already done by the fucking store. The store, you fucking <laughs> dickhead. You fucking, you just took a shit on. Oh my god, dude! To like even get it on the shelf, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the people who make it, sell it, and then the fucking purchaser from the retail chain who mitigates that and yeah. gets it into the store yeah. and then you want to fucking come in and buy it all and be like I'm providing a service yeah no you didn't you fucking <laughs> loser you didn't you didn't do anything you just took it from other people I hope <clears throat> I mean I hope this guy's just his drop shipping business hits the shitter which it will yeah what a fucking dick dude. I know dude why would, thought, you, why would you? I thought that do pause it? was so funny. Oh, it's hilarious! It's so funny! It's hilarious! Are you sorry? Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> that part I'm gonna give to him though. Yeah, that shit is that shit is hard. What do the comments say? Yeah, nah. <clears throat> <laughs> Any good ones? I have no sympathy for this kind of people. He seems like he justifies it. Okay, it's it's, it's people piling it on. Yeah, okay. I don't. I don't want to get on here and just be fucking the status quo and be like, "This guy's a fucking." Eh, but that's genuinely my opinion. This guy's a yeah, dickhead. Yeah, he's a dickhead. But you know, th- this is the kind of dickhead you want in other aspects of business. You know. Yeah. You know, maybe he should. He should just not be involved in moral things. Yeah. But okay. if this guy's a stockbroker. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's there up there with the shittiest of yeah. them. Did you see Connor O'Malley's video? Oh yeah, <laughs> I retweeted on- the fuck out of that. I was crying <laughs> with the gator. Yeah. <laughs> spitting pa- yeah Powerade yeah, is spitting <laughs> Listerine and shit into the cup I'm out here I'm, ju- I'm, ju- I'm juicing all the stockbrokers we gotta get this shit back up let's and just try to get the markets back up we gotta get indie fucking ro- we gotta get indie rock back up in this motherfucker <laughs> late 90s indie rock back in this motherfucker <laughs> he's a goddamn and he looks like he has it too he's like oh, always yeah. sweating and just- dude he's a goddamn genius he's dude. so fucking funny man all his fucking Beto videos so funny do you wanna play it real quick <laughs> like just a little, just just so we will know what we're talking about. If you had Vine, Play a little clip. If you had Vine, he was the funniest person on Vine, bar none. And he never saw his face. Yeah, it was just him screaming at cars, and he just run up to cars <laughs> on the street, like people in I Porsches, you. and go, "Better than me, better than me." And there's all these like Rich. fucking finance guys in suits <laughs> on Wall Street, freaking the fuck out. <laughs> We should watch some of his vines, dude. Dude, it is so funny to just run up on rich people, (laughs) rabid, like insane, like playing into their fucking idea of what other people are like, but like to the nth degree. Just so fucking funny. I worship you. (laughs) Is that a cool car? Oh, is that your cool little car? (laughs) Your car is so cool. His Twitter. I'm here on Wall Street. No, bro. The fucking money is this shit. His this Hudson Yards video game. This like animation is crazy. Did you see this shit? No, I didn't. Looks How like a fucking is this? oh from January. No, I didn't Dude, see it. Dude, this shit is so goddamn good, bro. And if you're doing the audio version, go look this shit up. Connor O'Malley. Look up his Twitter. It's his pin tweet. This shit is fucking intense, dude. Let's watch a watch a snippet of yeah, it. Yeah, let's watch a second of it. What in the so it's it's like, oh my god! So it's real, but he's yeah. He, but he, they animate it like it's hello, <laughs> hi, hello. Holy fuck! I'm earning dude. my tecate. <laughs> hello, it's me, your coworker, Hertz Enterprise. I see you've been collecting hello points. Keep it up, ha ha ha. <laughs> Kettlebell. <is> crazy. <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> How do they animate Hi. this? So 
there's a secret level above Amazon Prime that I can tell you about if you're interested. I could see myself living in Vegas. It's called Amazon Alpha. Is this and a guy that's in on it, or is he just yeah, talking yeah, to someone random? Yeah, no, it's oh, like okay. so. What it looks like is they have like a Snorri cam, like, and they probably take like a real cheap version, just like a GoPro on like a stick, just like mounted to his waist. And it's like following him from behind, and maybe they stabilize it a little bit in post. But yeah, everything else, like all the fucking the speed up, like how. I mean, that shit, yeah, there's probably, like, a little bit they're doing in the edit to, like, make it look that way. But he might just be, like, rocking back and forth to, like, give it that effect. That's wild. And, yeah, all the animations, so cool. all those PlayStation 1-looking <clears throat> textures and stuff. Yeah, that's it. it. That video gets crazy. That's the funniest shit I've seen in a while. <laughs> Play the Powerade one real quick. <laughs> we got a Powerade stock market. I come down here, Wall Street, and I'm handing out free homemade Powerade to all the stockbrokers. I made, me, I made some Powerade so that they can get the stocks up. We got to get this shit up. We can't be fucking around. It's going to be fucking can't. something else. It is a fucking new day. That's, I, I came down here. I said I'm going to get homemade Powerade out to all the stockbrokers. This is uh, this is water that I mixed together, and I worked out over it to get the power and in, power into the hands. Yeah, yeah. Homemade power. Powerade, guys. Guys, I made homemade Powerade. <laughs> the fence of the Red Hot Chili. We gotta get this shit back up. We gotta get this shit back up. We're not fucking around. We're not fucking around. Not fucking around. <laughs> God damn, we're clipping like a motherfucker right that now. That one's fine, though. That one's fine to clip. Yeah. Yeah. Conor O'Malley, genius, bro. <clears throat> yeah, hey, look him up. So He's so fucking funny. funny, man. Um, Yeah, his shit making fun of people voting for Beto was so goddamn funny. Starbucks man, we need you to come down here and beat the Kofi V guy, please. <laughs> please. Yeah, I don't know how many months he did that, but just at this construction site, just like progressively more and more bloody. I'm like, bro, this shit. Uh, an absolute genius. Yeah. And it's like he just makes shit with an iPhone. Yeah. And it's funnier than fucking yeah. two hundred thousand dollar productions. I know, dude. I would say him and Paul Zimmer are in the like, upper e echelon of yeah. creators. Yeah, you think so? Oh, in terms of like genius art and, and yeah. art. Yeah, Discovering yeah. perfection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would agree. Mm -hmm. Paul, Troy, Sam. Who could, who could, be, who could be sure? <laughs> who could know for sure, man? Wow. Oh, I, this, this shit, I, I'm cracking up at this, dude. Mr. Jared Leto. It's the most Jared Leto shit of all time. Wow. Twelve days ago, I began a silent meditation in the desert. We were totally isolated. No phone. No communication. We had no idea what was happening outside the facility. Wow. Good for you, Good dude. Good for you. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, Jared. Oh, did you just don't oh, just disconnect from society for twelve <laughs> fucking days? You know who else can do that? No one. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is like a way exaggerated version of me being like, I'm not stressed right now. Yeah. Jared Leto being like, damn, I just came back from doing 12 days of not even speaking to another human being because I don't have to. 12 days of not, of just being in the desert, silent. That's so cool, dude. <laughs> oh, good for you, Jared. And I can't believe what's going on in the world right now. It's crazy. Oh. I was just out there just beating off in the desert for um, a fortnight connecting in in my i was i was sitting in the desert raising this the spinal energy in my lowest chakra and bringing it to my crown chakra and finding that thousand petal lotus and seeing you know the true creator of all of this mm -hmm. and i come out and i see all this suffering if we would just take more time to meditate yeah we would have less of this suffering you know what my first thought was <clears throat> after coming out of this blissful place this serenic energy i don't even know if that's a word but sorry who was that who farted during my live stream anyways this serenity this serenic energy please stop farting uh jerry it might be you farting it very well may be. I uh, was not paying attention to my bodily functions either during this 12-day silent meditation. I kind of let my body do exactly what it wants. Pissing, shitting, farting. I just happened. I didn't know no holding it in. Anyways, I saw all this suffering in the world and my first thought was, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> that's what this is. It's just him saying, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, damn. And like the most fucking just rich 
privileged way ever. <laughs> you know, speaking of looking. Oh, <laughs> this was so good. Speaking of celebrities <laughs> saying some shit. Uh, we got a, I got a clown Vanessa again. Speaking of celebrities, they're at it again. Yeah, I got to I got to get my fucking I got to I got to get my tweet off over the podcast because someone deleted the video so now my I, I don't get free clout anymore so um, this is the way hold on before we started this is this tweet it is this drill tweet oh it is with a heavy heart that I must announce that the celebs are at it again <laughs> and indeed they are <laughs> alright Vanessa Hudgens gets on IG live and I fucking thought this was a deep fake man <laughs> yeah like the quality of the stream and like her face like her face like Seems like it's like tracking with her head. I was what, like, "What is she like famous for again?" She was a Disney. Yeah, person? she's like on High School Musical. Okay, right. Okay. All right. Let's let's hear this shit. Um. Yeah. Till July sounds like a bunch of bullshit. I'm sorry, but like. Yeah. Totally. It's a virus. I get it. Like. Yeah. I yeah. respect it, but at the same time, like. I respect that. Even if everybody gets it, like, yeah, people are gonna die. It's just terrible, but like, inevitable. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to get on Twitter and say she sounds mad that coronavirus is more popping than her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, yeah, like, yeah, it's a virus and like totally respect what it does. Totally understand. It's 24-7 work ethic. Totally get it. But like, it's just killing people. Like, yeah, like it's, it's, not, not, it's not that. It's not like it's fucking... It didn't do four seasons of High School Musical. Let's just say yeah, that. Yeah, like it's only been what? It's only been like a month. Like, talk to me when it's been at it for like a year, maybe two. Okay, then your like career is starting. Yeah, exactly. You know? But like as of right now, it's like getting way too much attention. You know, you know how hard it is to like keep this shit up. Like once you're, you know, at terminal velocity. It's like I've been doing this for like ten years. Vanessa, this is about a, a virus. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why you guys keep talking about yeah, it. Oh my god, I get it. The virus is all I hear about right now. The virus, the virus. Like, you know, there are other things in science, like more like global warming. Why don't you talk about that? Yeah. All right, bitch. <laughs> she got in tons of heat for that. Yeah, yeah, she got cooked. Again, just so fuck, just sitting in her her white, just five bedroom house in Brentwood probably fucking white yeah. picket fence and no, she's like people are gonna die but like like that's just like Darwin <laughs> you know Mo like I'm not <laughs> but like other people will but like it's inevitable modern farmhouse with this fucking uh vaulted ceiling yeah this bitch got a gym in her backyard <laughs> has all these fucking tools to combat the shit Probably has a storage unit filled by some assistant. Three three stainless steel stoves. Yeah. In the kitchen. Auto disinfectant. Yeah. She's on Instagram live. Like, so what? Some people are gonna die. <laughs> it's it's a virus, people. Last time I checked, that's what they do. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's some fucking there's some fucking cis admin and goddamn uh, fucking Tennessee sweating his fucking head off maintaining on the fucking servers to let her get on there and fucking do this shit nine cis admins <laughs> paranoid that someone's got it yeah fucking sitting there in a burning fucking uh, whatever so so dumb dude unreal and then she apologized I think yeah she was like guys I, I saw it she's like guys I take this seriously I'm inside like definitely stay inside. It's like no, that's not. I'm inside. <laughs> I'm inside my ten thousand square foot house. Like, like all I can, like all I find myself doing is going from the basketball courts to the tennis courts <laughs> to the fridge and then back to my theater room. It's like all I can do. So like I'm taking this seriously. This bitch lives in a fucking mall. Yeah. <laughs> she lives in a fucking Home Depot. She, we're talking shit, bro. <laughs> Get out of here, dog. That's like, I watched a few um, 
Is that what's that channel? Architects Digest or some shit? Yeah, yeah. I watch those all the time. Yeah, a bunch of those have been popping up on my fucking recommended, and like I watched a few of those, and like I just like laugh. I'm like, bro, Cribs, Cribs was like endearing in a way, because I I don't know, there there's something about like Cribs where it just felt it felt like a man. Like let me tell you about my life, and like they talk about like real sort of like niche things, like you know like. Oh, I I, you know, I keep Ciroc and the whatever. Like even some of that shit was it was flexing, but something about it was endearing. I don't know why. Because it was like more fun. That's what I mean. Is like there's just like a tone about it that was sort of like, uh, you know what it was? Yeah, with the cool like crazy shots of the and then the reverse and then like bounce. But you're I, like, it's not as much flexing. It's more like a party. It's like it's that. But I also felt like the the artists were mostly uh, self aware. And like there was like a, a a little bit of like yeah I, this is fucking ridiculous but I have this giant fish tank. Yeah. Uh, there's some element of that. But you watch some of those architects like digest shit and it just ruins some of these people. For what me. do you mean? Like it's just like oh, I watched Aaron Paul's fucking Idaho. I watched that one too. That was pretty pretty brutal. You're just like God like everything yeah. that makes our little slice of heaven here and it's like yeah, that's cool man. Yeah the yeah. Fuck- wh- Fucking Idaho wilderness probably played paid like two million dollars for the fucking piece of land. Yeah, and he's just, then he's, just, he's like the way they're talking about it, and like yeah, we all this handpicked stone and shit. I'm we like, just we just shipped the chimney in from Sweden or some shit. Yeah. I was like, dude, yeah, and, and they bought three farmhouses and had them shipped to <laughs> Idaho. It's like this, like there is nothing that makes you less relatable than this type of shit. Yeah, it's just zero percent endearing. Yeah. Yeah, you just kind of get like annoyed. I, at least I, I know I know exactly the feeling that you're talking about. But it's it's different because like I watched Chelsea lately. Did you watch hers? No. And hers felt like a cribs. Like there was a story behind everything. It was like I got this from this. I got this from this. This is when I did this. This is my friends and I did acid over here. We do drugs over here. I never used the kitchen. It was like very like earnest and just like I think that's what makes it endearing when it's like it doesn't seem like they're just buying shit to for the sake of buying it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like oh yeah, I got this object cuz I have like this deep affinity for this and I've always yeah. dreamed of that. Yeah. And you're like, "Oh, okay, yeah, like they worked hard, they got to this point." They go, yeah, I get it. Whereas the other like it was like, "Yeah, we got this chimney cuz my wife saw it and she had to have it or whatever." Yeah. And then <laughs> and it's just like, uh <laughs> they're like one of the fucking one of the quotes in there for me was like every morning we just sit right here this is our little game cove and we play backgammon i'm like you guys are fucking bored <laughs> you guys are bored and then like the way they're talking about every, his wife was like i know every in- inch of this house it's crazy i'm like oh you've lost your mind already <laughs> you've they're like we've only been here for like a month i'm like yeah and you're going nuts you're yeah. just staring at the wood being like this is what where's this wood come from and like you know what i mean like yeah. and the, 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 just everything about it was just like ugh i wish you never did this yeah it just changed the way i looked at him really a little bit yeah, yeah. he's wearing the gucci sweater the whole time too it's just like fucking it's a dope sweater though yeah but you couldn't put on a shirt but it is i know it is a little bit it's just it's almost too much flexing sometimes yeah some of those videos are really good though like even oh, yeah. scott disix is like weirdly good i don't know why it makes you feel like shit because you're like i'll just never have that <laughs> but naja houston's house was cool yeah his house his house is like ridiculously cool yeah but like at least it felt like sort of modest and like you know this is a dude who's been working since he was like fucking nine yeah years i mean old. if you have a fucking trophy room in yeah. your place like you you deserve to flex a little bit no definitely and not, not saying aaron paul doesn't but like no, it's he, just a different yeah. I don't know. It's a different type, maybe. Yeah, and I'm not trying to hate on him too much. You know, I, I I definitely love his work, but it's just like some of those I watched, and I won't like name drop anyone else. But it's just like, God damn, you suck, yeah. dude. Yeah, I think that's that's the that's the first step to becoming out of touch, is when you get a fucking gigantic house. Yeah, and I I don't mean like a three bedroom. I mean like like celeb shit where it's like where you're shipping things, where yeah. you're shipping pieces of the house in from yeah. other countries. Yeah. And you're living in another cool house while your cooler house is getting finished. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the first step. <laughs> yeah. And you're just fucking, don't comment on anything yeah. after that point. Yeah. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> just shut up, dude. I even, like, even when, even when, like, rich people and celebrities, like, get on a high horse about, like, we need to help. And uh, it's like, you have millions of dollars. 
you want to get involved in something, go do it, yeah. bro. Yeah. You have the power, actually. Yeah. yeah. Don't fucking make the rest of regular people. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Anyway, it's just me hating celebs, dude. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, they're at it again. So yeah. it's with a heavy heart that I must announce that. <laughs> Speaking of, should we just, should we just bring let's, it full circle? Yeah. With let's end it with um, Matthew. Our boy, uh, uh, poor, the Mr. Pork Cracklin himself here. <laughs> Chief he a, Pork Cracklin? Chief of Pork Cracklins that's Incorporated. What it, that's what it's called when I start busting ass. Pork Cracklins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mind me, baby. You letting that pork crackle over there? Oh, my pork is crackling over here. <laughs> my porky pig is crackling. Hey, so the, everybody. Wait, wait, wait. The caption of this is because every red light eventually turns green. That's, damn, dude. It's just poem after poem after poem today. Hey, everybody, McConaughey here. Just want to say in these crazy times uh, that we're in with the coronavirus, um, let's take care of ourselves and each other. Uh, let's not go to the lowest common denominator and get paranoid. Let's do our due diligence, take the precautions we need to to take care of ourselves. And Why, those why is being us. paranoid right. bad? Yeah, I was I was digging into that a bit on Twitch. I don't think paranoia is bad in this scenario. I don't think it's that bad. I think we should be paranoid and and overcompensating. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I think that's very smart. There's no reason why you shouldn't like just be hand sanitizing everything right now. Why yeah. not? Yeah. What's the fucking yeah? yeah. I, right. I, I think. I mean, maybe paranoia translates into like stocking up for six months. Maybe don't go to that extreme. But, or it's like the government it did it. Yeah, and it's a bio weapon and all that shit. Yeah. I don't know about that, but I mean, a little paranoia is healthy, I think. Right now, more than ever before, we're all more dependent on each other than we ever have been. But we have an enemy in coronavirus that is faceless, that is I hate. I hate like sexless, the cadence. Non-denominational. I hate the cadence mm, yeah. in which he talks. Mm. He's just always acting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the at the very beginning where he was like uh, Matthew McConaughey here we have uh, we found an enemy with the coronavirus or whatever yeah, he said. yeah. He's like, we really gotta you know depend on ourselves and don't go down to that lowest common denominator and I think <laughs> he does a little the only thing we can rely on is uh, each other yeah you know that, look, look look Matt you don't got to be sexy for everybody you know we we know you do that for the ladies and you get on the gram. If you're going to make a PSA, Dude. you don't got to do a sexy PSA. You know what well, saying? no, because he sees an opportunity. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> he just starts fucking unbuttoning his shirt as he's talking. <laughs> he's like, now one of the symptoms of coronavirus the is a uh, lot of heat. heat. <laughs> now I know your temperature going to come up a little. <laughs> the temperature going to come up a little bit, but that's okay. Because now that you're home, he's undoing the shirt. There's nothing wrong with slipping it off. Oh, my God, dude. And don't forget, he gets a little Lysol wipe. Stay clean. <laughs> Sanitize. Very clean. Because, you know, in this time, all we have is each other. Hard cut. <laughs> Hard cut. <laughs> Cuts back also. <laughs> I've heard it can affect your balls. It just whips his balls out and... <laughs> No, 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 dude. Matthew. No, he's just in like a little, he's in like jeans. A loincloth. He's in loincloth and he's like, he's like, nah, I've heard. <laughs> he's got, he's got a wedding ring on and he's slipping it off. He's like, nah, I've heard. It could affect your fertility. So I might need to go on a journey <laughs> after this whole thing said and done to find out if my M and the E is still the M and the E. <laughs> So if you want to help me figure that out, you head on over to MatthewMcConaughey.com and you sign up. <laughs> Tons of women. Oh my fucking, yes. Yes. I want to be on the Matthew McConaughey semen tour. <laughs> <laughs> he just calls it the, the semen tour. Matthew McConaughey semen oh tour. Oh my God. He goes on tour, an official tour, just fucking women. <laughs> It's a tour t-shirt with fucking a thousand stops. <laughs> Small bumfuck towns. He's going everywhere, dude. 
I'm, fu- I'm fucking a woman in every one of y'all's <laughs> dumbass cities. I'm leaving my beautiful state of Texas, and I'm not coming back until a woman is fucked in every state See, and city. And, uh, and my long branch has been through every <laughs> pork crackling on this side of the globe. <laughs> no, and bipartisan. And it's an enemy that we all agree. Oh, all we agree. Gonna beat. We gonna we beat. wanna beat, and we're gonna beat. All right. So in yeah, this time, I... uh, why is the coronavirus gotta be a him? Yeah, dude. All right. What if it's a lady? Yeah, bro. What about that? Jesus. No, if it was a lady, then he would have fucked it already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the coronavirus. It's female. Yeah. He would. Then he would have been like, "Why don't we all get along, us and the virus? <laughs> why can't? Why? Why does it have to be an enemy?" Why can't it be a friend? Listen, little Miss Corona, if you're out there, I want to understand you. So you come visit me anytime. We can be friends <laughs> with a couple benefits, of course. <laughs> when people are going to move on, the economy is going to be in shambles for who knows how long. There is a green light on the other side of this red light that we're in right now. And I believe that green light is going to be built upon the values. Wouldn't, wouldn't the, wouldn't the metaphor be the the red light will turn green eventually. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Isn't Something. this metaphor kind of weird? Because uh, yeah, if there's know. a green light way past the red light, how do you ever know the red light's going to... I guess it's assumed. I think he means it's like it's like on the other side. Like the red light will... You know what I mean? Gotcha. You know, they're like, it's like one of those. Yeah, yeah I see. Okay, yeah, he's not yeah, specifying yeah, 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 the transition. Yeah yeah, 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 okay. I'm sorry, Matthew. Is this light rotating? Yeah, yeah. What are the logistics of the red light? (laughs) Right now, values of fairness, kindness, accountability, resilience, respect, courage. (laughs) We practice those things right now. When we get out of this, this virus, this time, might be the one time that brings us all together and unify. (laughs) As us, like we have not been in a long time. So, yes. (laughs) Let's see if we can make some lemonade out of this lemon that we're in the middle of. Oh, right. come on, dude. Bro, what the fuck are you trying to say with all that, bro? Just just say it. Stop being mean to Chinese people. Just say it. <laughs> it's fucking overly complicated shit. <laughs> if Matthew McConaughey just turned on his camera and said, we need to stop being mean to Chinese people, <clears throat> I would respect it a lot yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. Not this. We got to make lemonade out of lemons. It's about the values we instill. Yeah, just don't. Yeah. See if we can make some. There's no lemons right now, dude. I mean, there's lemons, but you want to change some lemons, bro. Uh, no, but his, his whole thing at the end there was like, let's use this as an opportunity to like come together. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. Let's nah. make lemonade out of the lemon. There's no lemons right yeah, now. There's yeah. It's lemonless. Yeah. Tell, tell everyone working in a factory right now to go. Make some lemonade. Make some lemonade, dude. This is a good thing. No sick pay? Yeah, just go make some lemonade out of yeah, the situation. Yeah, dude. exactly. Stop fucking crying. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh. Wait, did you see Did you see there was a tweet and it was like, I feel so bad for all the assistants of celebrities right now stuck in their boss's <laughs> home being forced to film all their corona content. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some, forget who it was, but it's some like. That's actually what we're going to do next. middle-aged celeb and she's like. She's doing this TikTok where she's sanitizing all of her oh like fuck, tap dude. handles, and as you can just tell, it's our assistant filming it. Like, God, what the fuck am I doing, dude? Bro, dude, we should watch that. We should pull that up on the fucking. I don't know. I, I forgot to link it. That's whatever. We're gonna make Kyle <laughs> film us do a bunch of sanitation TikToks now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just sanitize the mics. <laughs> Podcasting. <laughs> uh oh, it's a cur- <laughs> it's a quarantine cast. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the bonus. Yeah, yeah we'll see you in the bone zone. We're going right. to talk about Dana White. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so good. All right, stay safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Wash your hands. Stay inside. Don't go out. Don't yeah. go see people. Uh, uh, take responsibility. And stop ordering Postmates. You don't know what a fuck your Postmate has been. Yeah. You know. Or if you do, sanitize it. You yeah, know? just rub down the box a little bit. Put Lysol um, in your food, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it, I think of, yeah, yeah. Eat, eat sanitizer is what we're trying to say. Yeah. I think, you know, if things, if we're doing our job and we're flattening the curve and whatever, it's going to seem like we're doing it for nothing because Mm -hmm. that's exact, but just keep doing it. Yeah. That's what it should be. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you. Peace.